So now in this Primavera platform, we will try to create a small project and we will add some activities to that project and we will try to schedule it. So for that, I'm just going to select this uh, CCL enterprise and I'm just going to remove this icon and I'm just going to have one project under manufacturing limited. So there I'm just going to put the new project so you can use the plus icon. So it is asking you to select the enterprise project structure. That one is like manufacturing limited. So we can able to select from here also that we have already selected. No need to worry about. And I'm just going for next. Now I'm just going for a new project ID and project name. So new project ID, I'm just going to put 1001 project name as project A. And I'm just going for next. And it is like a project plan to start. I am just going to have a uh, 12th Jan, if uh, anything else, we can able to choose from here. Otherwise, I'm just going for February 1 and I'm just going for next and the responsible manager we can able to select from our OBS list. So by default, it is uh, like enterprise. Otherwise, I'm just going for next. So the standard rate we can choose next and then finish. So now we have created this project. Right click and then open the project. So the project we have created, this is what it is. Now here we can able to go for adding our activities. So I'm just going to consider only the activity and I'm not going to consider any WBS for this project. I'm just going to put uh, some five activities. And here I'm just going for adding the durations and everything. So by default, the activity coming with the four days duration. So if you want more, you can put, for example, for this activity, I'm just going to put 10 day. And uh, so it is just going down. If you want to make it as like a, you can just uh, click here. So it will go back to the correct position. This, this drop down uh, arrow, you can able to click it. So it is in a same sequence. And for this, I'm just going to put 15. And this one, I'm just going to put 5. And uh, we can able to make uh, this as a start milestone. So activity type, I'm just going to put a start milestone and uh, this one, I'm just going to put finish milestone. So then automatically the duration will become zero days. Okay. Now we got this one and I'm just going to schedule it. So for scheduling, you can choose here. Otherwise you can click F9. I'm just clicking it. So it is asking for 1 February 21. So current data date. Now the original duration here it is showing 15 days after scheduling we will see how it is and before I'm just going to tell you where it is available and you can able to so see here So you can use like this and you can able to like scale it. So now this is what the activities that we have created. Now we don't have any link also before scheduling. We must have some links here. So for that, I'm just going for A1. I'm just going for relationships. I'm just going for successor. Assign, I'm just going to put uh, this one. And for this, and again, I'm just going for this one. And for this, and again, going for the next one. And then for this one, I'm just going for assign this one. So totally we have that relationship now. Like that is also like finished to start. So if you want anything else, you can able to choose from here. Now we, we are having 15 days only the original duration, but we are going to schedule it. And after we will see how the duration here it changes. So you click the schedule and then you can uh, change the date if you want. And you can go for log to file. So log to file in the sense we can able to view the log, otherwise we can't. So it is like overwrite existing or we can go to um, append to existing. So overwrite existing in the sense it will create you the new new log. Otherwise append to existing in the sense it will be like adding to the previous logs that we have. So overwrite existing is by default. I'm just going to schedule. And here also we have options. In options we can able to choose whatever we want. These things we can do in later stage. So general and also advanced we have. 
otherwise we can directly schedule now so now the original duration is 30 days and the, it is also showing you the critical path so like this you can able to schedule any project in primavera so now i am in general tab in general tab we can able to see the assigned calendar so for all our activities so it is like 5 cross 10 if you want to change you can change from here and then you can able to see the how the duration vary and here we also have like a completion type so percentage completion type here we have three methods duration physical and then units so normally by default it is like duration and if it is like duration then you can just go for status so there you can able to start the project and you can specify the duration for example duration percentage we complete a 15 percentage so then you can able to see the remaining and at complete it is automatically changing to the remaining days so we have completed only two days so remaining we have 13 days and if you are putting some uh, 20 percentage so it is automatically converting to 12 days so like this the duration percentage it is like uh, we can able to input if you selected duration here and i am just going back like i'm checking the start one and you can go for are you sure that you want to change the activity yes then automatically the remaining also become 15 days because we have not started the activity now i'm just going for general and again i'm just going to select physical now now if you are starting it and if you are inputting any percentage also so it won't update actually it will update manually we can able to manually update for example remaining i'm just going to put 12 days or I'm just going to put 14 days and based on that we can able to like uh, schedule our project so we will get some float over here so in this method physical percentage method I'm just going to uncheck start and I'm just going to put yes now the remaining automatically becomes 15 days now again in general we also have units so this we can able to have only if we have primary resource or some other resource now i'm just going for status the unit we can't able to put anything and i'm just going for general i'm just going to select the primary resource and uh, here i'm just going to take a person the selected resource is currently not assigned to the activity would you like to assign this resource to the activity i'm putting s yes. now i'm just going for resource here and we can able to see how the budgeted units and remaining units now i'm just going for general and i'm just going for selecting unit completion type and i'm just going for status and now we can able to start it and we can able to input some unit percentage over here for example 20 percentage so it won't update any duration here but it will update labor units for example budgeted is 150 hours we have completed 20 hours so actual is 30 hours so 20 percentage of it and remaining we have 120 hours so at complete it will be like 150 hours so this is what like a unit percentage so i'm just unchecking it so it won't go actually you need to put zero here and then you can uncheck it so then everything it is updating here so this is like a duration type and this is like a units type and we can also go for physical so normally physical sometimes if you want to manually input those values you can go for otherwise duration is better by default duration percentage complete type is the one that we do have in primavera so now i am just going to schedule it and where we can able to see the view log so i'm just clicking view log it is something in notepad where we can able to see our details of project details like default project and then scheduling is yes. leveling no so we didn't level anything you know so that's why here it is showing no and the calculate multiple float pass no because we didn't choose that option in advanced and statistics we have project one activities five and uh, not started five in progress zero everything we can able to see and we also have four relationships we don't have any activities with constraints and here you can able to see the warnings so and also we have this kind of information so accordingly we can able to see everything 
so the scheduling what is the data date and what is the earliest uh, start date and then latest finish date and everything we can able to see from here and if you want to save you can able to save to the particular location i'm just going to close it and i'm just going to schedule back now we have like 10 15 file so totally 30 days duration